hey, it's Ned here, your local vertical farming expert, more or less. I want to turn this room into a flower garden, which I know is like, mm, questionable, but guess what? I'm about to show them who's boss. I went to Home Depot to buy a bunch of random stuff for the lettuce project. You know that mess? And while I was there, I impulse bought a lot of flowers. I don't know what you're thinking. Natalie, why do you need five different boxes of hyacinths? And whatever these are, lavender, more hyacinths. I don't know, I made a mistake, I don't know. I think I'm gonna set this up like a middle school science experiment where I have half of them in dirt and half of them in like the ideal hydroponic mix. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's kinda nasty. <laughs> is to make this bleach solution and then put it in this Windex bottle so I can just spray all the stuff down. I've always been the messy person in the family, like dropping stuff. Okay, we're good. <gasps> the cash money. <gasps> One gallon to half cup of bleach is the ratio we're doing. That's what the internet said to do. That's what the CDC is said. I'm uh, just trying to kill disease and not my plants. I'll just... Oh, she's <laughs> I don't have anything to stir with and I figured that I could just use like centripetal force. So we're gonna take this boy. I think there was still Windex in this soap bottle. <laughs> Bubbles that are not supposed to be there. Hello, it is me now grown and editing this video. Do not mix these two substances. Do not mix bleach and Windex like cleaners. Um, they it, Chemical reaction makes evil gas. Evil gas not good for you. Don't do that. That was a very dangerous thing to do. Please do not repeat that. <laughs> We have to add these clay pebbles at the bottom of the planter to prevent rotting and just nasty stuff from happening. I have my two boxes. My question is, do we alternate them? I think the answer is yes. The internet said, I think it said, it said one inch apart and other websites were like four inches apart. I'm gonna just wing it and hope it works out. These are the purple ones, I think. It's like a little dinosaur nub, like on a triceratops. My concern is that I've had these for so long that I don't know, maybe they've expired. Isn't that cool, the bubbling? He's definitely wet. Oh, he's too wet. Why is he so wet? Oh, I made a mistake already. The inner part seems like over moistened and the parts on the outside on the perimeter are just dry. So I added three more cups of water to the hyacinths. Well, I have to water this daily because it's freaking soil. I'm gonna, I guess, pay attention to that in the future and try not to mess it up. Here's my daffodils. It sprouted from two places. Kind of deformed. <gasps> I see a good one. Okay, he's our winner. He's our lucky chicken dinner. He's shedding. I don't know if that's good or bad. There's too much water in here. That'll be fine. Like, I think this might be the exact perfect size for this guy. Wait, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's literally perfect. Where was this ease of access for the other boys? Muscaries, I've never heard of these before I saw them, but they look kind of cute. They look like the off-brand version of the hyacinths. And they're even deer resistant. If that's not a bargain, I don't know what it is. That's the perfect size. Why was the daffodil such a pain in my butt? When you grow flowers indoors like the way that I'm doing it right now, that's referred to as forcing the bulbs to bloom. When you do them in water, they will not grow back the next year, but in soil, they do have a chance. So these will hopefully survive. I don't think I need nutrients, which is kind of cool. We'll see if it works. Next step is to put everything in the closet, like right there. Okay, so it's been roughly two weeks since everything's been set up and there's been some considerable progress. After I transferred everything under lights, an interesting thing that's happened so far is actually the fact that the bulbs that have been in the dirt up in the top of the closet, those are a lighter shade of green than the ones in here. I still have not put the hyacinth bulbs in the dirt under lights yet. I think I'm gonna do that today. And the other bulb is right here. He's doing actually very well. You can see that he's a much darker shade of green than the other bulbs in the dirt. I think that's probably because of the light exposure because more chlorophyll will be produced since there's light. I'm very happy with this. Like you can see, there's. I feel like something's gonna happen soon. I'm excited for the coming weeks. There hasn't been much progress in terms of the mascara. The tips are a dark purpley brown color. I guess things haven't really been happening. I'm kind of concerned about it, um, but what am I gonna do? Also, the daffodil sucks. There has literally been no progress. I tricked myself into thinking roots were reaching out, but really, I think it's just the old dead roots getting washed by the water, which kind of nasty. I'm going to replace this 
with another bulb. So right now I'm going to change all the water and set up some lights. hyacinth bulb which isn't like that big of a deal but I don't want to risk anything else so I'm just gonna take that chemistry squishy bottle thing transfer the water like that it smells kind of nasty Right now, I'm trying to ward off this cat. Look at him. He's not leaving. I tell him every day that he can't eat the plants and every day he doesn't listen. No. Okay, so we got our first flower bloom. I'm so happy. I feel like I've made it. I feel like the world is my oyster and I am the sea. I have flowers in my room. Do you have flowers in your room? Probably not. If you do, feel free to flex on me in the comments. I'll update you when more stuff happens. Yay. And then all my plants died. Now, this is a really old video. Uh, I think pre-senior year of high school, and for context, I am currently a college freshman. The whole thing about making YouTube videos about hydroponics, I love learning about it, is that it's both very, like, empowering and also incapacitating at times. It's empowering in the regard that I am the main character of the story. That framework of thinking about it, on the overall, allows me to detach myself from the failures that are occurring, right? It's like, I know that even if the girl goes wrong, I can still make like a funny, entertaining video about it that still has like value to people. That makes it much easier to just deal with the fact that things aren't working. But there's like a flip side to that coin that when you are making videos about these things and you aren't doing well, every time you edit, every time you rewatch that content, you are reliving your failures. Um, and as you know, if you've been with this channel for a bit or even if you like took a quick scroll through my page, there's a lot of failures. Like it does hurt at times. And that kind of explains the absence of my posting. Um, that's why this video almost made me quit. It was just one failure too many and I realized as I was trying to edit this one, I just couldn't. Now, even though there was kind of a pause in like my personal home grows, I did not stop pursuing hydroponics whatsoever. I just like took that time to like work in industry, um, do some networking. I started working for iGrow News. Um, if you saw my last video, I got to go to Indoor Ag Con, which is absolutely awesome. Should we just launch this like weekly Indoor Ag News thing? So if you want to check that out on their social media platforms, that'd be sick. So I promise you, like, I have not stopped hydroponics. I will not be stopping hydroponics. Now that things have kind of cooled down in college, I'm ready to start growing again. I'm very excited to be, like, formally growing again. Like, myself, obviously, with my education and just, like, the plants themselves. I'm really excited to, like, tackle a project just like this again in the future and just see how I've matured and how I deal with the situation if it goes badly or like the growth I'll have or just like the feeling of success when it comes. As always, if you guys have any advice regarding this particular grow or just like maintaining motivation or just general hydroponics advice, please comment it below. Like, like I always say, and I really do mean it, when you guys help out, we all grow better together. So please feel free to subscribe for more hydroponics content and door ag stuff coming really soon. I'm excited and have a nice day.